What's going on there guys, my name is Matt or Chewy as most of you will know me as and welcome back to another Microsoft Flight Simulator video. Today just a really quick video which has been really hotly requested. I've had so 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 many people asking in the comment section of the videos that I've been posting so far about what my gaming PC specs are and what my settings are in the simulator. So. I'll pop an image on the screen now with all of the text, but uh, I'll read it out as well. So the CPU that I'm running is the Intel i9-9900K overclocked at 5 gigahertz. Uh, the graphics card is the Zotac NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080 Ti. Motherboard is the Asus Maximus uh, XI Hero. I've got 32 gigabytes of G-Skill Trident DDR4 4000 megahertz RAM and I use the Fractal Design R2 case. I've also got two NVMe SSDs, one for Windows, and then the other one I believe has got prepared on it at the moment. Uh, and I've also got three other Samsung Evo SSDs as well for other things in the PC. So those are my specs. Now, before we get into the fine details here of my settings, I just want to give a disclaimer. This is still a preview build of Microsoft Flight Simulator. So if any of you guys decide to copy the settings that I'm using today and you do not get the same results as I do, then please be aware that this is just a preview build and I'm sure over time there will be updates coming out from the Microsoft team as to the performance of this simulator. Another note is that I've really not done that much tweaking for exactly the reason that I just described there. The only thing that I've really done with graphics is to just go into the uh, graphics menu that you see us on now and I've switched most of the settings to either ultra or high and tried to find a nice balance where I can still achieve a really beautiful looking sim but also good performance as well. Uh, I'm running on a 4K monitor. I use the Acer Predator XB321HK 32 inch monitor um, in full 4K resolution and as I say in full screen. So. Please be aware that of the date of recording this, which is the 3rd of August, these settings are still for the beta preview build of Microsoft Flight Simulator. They are by no means my final settings. I've just kind of randomly selected things at ultra or high um, to try and get nice visuals, but also keep that FPS in a good range as well. I'm sure these will change. And when they do so on full release of the sim, I'll update this video. But here we go. Um, so yeah, I've got the global rendering quality over to custom. V-Sync I've turned up at the moment. Render scaling I've just left at 100. Um, I just think for performance reasons, really, I've left that there. I turn anti-aliasing off because as I say, I'm on a 4K monitor. Terrain level of detail I've whacked as high as possible up to 200. And then we've got the tessellation quality and the buildings quality at ultra. Trees and grass and bushes are all at high. Object level of detail whacked all the way to the right at 200. We've got the volumetric clouds at ultra, texture resolution at ultra, anisotropic filtering at 16 times, texture super sampling at four times four, texture synthesis at ultra, and I'm not gonna keep reading through all of those, but there you go. So as I can see, I'm pretty much using most settings on either ultra or high. Um, I've not really gone through every single one of these settings and switched to the different options to see what difference it makes both visually and performance wise in the simulator as previously mentioned because I want to wait to uh, see what this simulator is like with the full release build, the public release build and then start to customize and tweak my settings from there. But I decided to make this video because there's just been an overwhelming plethora of people asking in the comment sections, Chewy, what are your PC specs and what settings are you using at the moment? What we'll do now is I'll jump into a little bit of footage in the simulator and I'm going to be using a bit of hardware called HW Monitor so that you guys can monitor the performance levels of my hardware as well as the temperatures as well in the sim. So I'll see you in the air. Okay, welcome back everybody. You see that I've put ourselves in the uh, Airbus A320neo running the same settings as previously mentioned at the start of this video. And uh, I've put us over the top of New York. I thought New York is probably one of the heaviest places in terms of performance in the simulator. And so I've just whacked on the autopilot, brought us down to a low level here, just to kind of see what performance we're getting. In the top left-hand corner of the screen, you'll probably see my FPS. We're averaging anywhere between about 30 and 40 FPS right now, although it is dipping and diving here and there. Um, and I'm using a software which has accidentally just gone off the screen called a CPUID HW Monitor, which is um, a really, really, really useful bit of kit. And uh, this will give us various bits of information towards our hardware. So we've got my uh, 
CPU here, my processor, you can see the temperatures that are currently being run at the moment, and you can see the, uh, the percentage of usage. Also down the bottom here, we've got the 2080 Ti. You can see the temperatures here. It's about 47, 48 degrees centigrade. And then the GPU usage. So already straight away, it really doesn't uh, take a genius to work out that Microsoft Flight Simulator, um, it, is, it can really vary. It can either be very GPU intensive for one moment and not so much CPU intensive or CPU intensive for, for a moment and not so much GPU. I'm finding on the most part that it's pretty consistent that it's very heavy GPU usage. Um, CPU usage, as you can kind of see, it really fluctuates here. It was up in the 80s, 90s, and now, you know, on all cores apart from seven, it's, uh, it's down in the 50s, to even down to the 23 ranges I saw there. Whilst the GPU utilization is pretty much constantly right on max 100%. Temperature wise, I'm fine though. I've got a really nice custom water cooling system in the uh, in the build that I've got, which is helping keep things nice and cool. But there you go, just a quick look at some of the um, some of the performance that we've got right now in the preview build. And as I say, this is the preview build, so you know I know I don't I, I shouldn't need to keep saying it, but I'm going to keep saying it for all of you who are maybe worried about the performance in this. I want to be honest and truthful with you guys and give you an accurate representation of the performance in the simulator. That's what this video is about, really. But at the same time, you guys need to be aware that you know things may dramatically change over the course of the next few months as the simulator is improved. What we'll do now is that's uh, inside the flight deck. Let's go to an outside view, shall we? And let's go and have a look and see how we're doing with performance when we're in an outside view. I'll bring up that same software again and you can see that it's about the same here you know cpu intensity varying we've got cpu zero heading up 93 there but now coming back down really not very cpu intensive whatsoever at the moment here over new york however that graphics card constantly in the high 90s if not a hundred percent so one of the reasons why i'm able to get the frame rate that i do with the settings that I've selected in this preview build is because of that uh, RTX 2080 Ti graphics card that I'm very lucky to be utilizing. Great stuff. Well, there you are, folks. I hope this was an informative video. As I say, I've had so many people requesting over the past few days to give information about my hardware specs, my settings and everything like that. And I hope this has been useful to you all just to give you an idea of potentially what to expect on release day. As I say, I'm sure over time as this simulator grows, performance will get better. And please don't be disheartened if you're worried about my frame rate right now. I still need to tweak my settings on 18th of August once the public release build comes out. And I'm sure I can try and get some nice looking visuals, but also help that frame rate as well. Hope you've enjoyed the video though. If you have, please subscribe to the channel for more Microsoft Flight Simulator content. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and also, and also sorry, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Let me know if there's anything specific that you want to see. As we fly over the top of the Statue of Liberty with the beautiful views of New York in the background. Thanks so much for watching, guys. See you again soon.